parts of the state are dealing with the worst drought. Big area of orange indicates severe drought. The kind of lighter orange is moderate drought. Southeast Kansas in even worse shape. So we did see some rain last night. Let's see how much uh, fell from Topeka over to Lawrence. It's right there on the edge of the severe drought. Around the capital city, we had a report of eight one hundredths of an inch on the southwest side of town. We are three and a half inches behind just since the beginning of September, so this won't help much at all. Uh, Rossville, five one hundredths of an inch. Uh, that won't help either. Manhattan is just about uh, almost four inches behind schedule over the past uh, 50 days or so. Saw about a half inch in the middle of town. St. George under a tenth of an inch. Washington, Kansas with four tenths of an inch. All this data is from the, uh, the Kokoros uh, network. You can check that online. There's just uh, amazing uh, reports here. It's come out at seven o'clock in the morning, so this includes everybody. Concordia, 6.65 uh, last night to this morning. That's more rain than you had in the previous 50 days combined. So Concordia way behind schedule. That'll help a little, very little. Fort Riley about a third of an inch. And we saw one big number last night. Look at this Axtell with 1.2 inches of rain right there in the northwest part of uh, Nemaha County, just a couple miles away. Baileyville, six one hundred. So uh, it was not a widespread area that got uh, a good soaking last night. And looking at the Doppler radar estimates, you can see a big area of not much. Lawrence to Osage City, some folks seeing sprinkles or, or nothing. Looking at live from Manhattan now, the fall foliage looking beautiful, 83 degrees, 2.49. Light winds out of the west southwest, feels like summer in Emporia, 88 degrees right now. But get ready for a temperature roller coaster as tomorrow highs will be in the upper 60s and low 70s. It's a huge change. So right now we're in the 80s in most spots, but again tomorrow we'll see that number dropping off dramatically. No rain tonight, a cold front moves through with no chance of any rain with this tonight at all. Tomorrow, a high of 72 in Topeka. That's a big drop from today. It's still way above normal, but again, we're going from 80s today to 67 in Hiawatha. That's just tomorrow. It will drop off that much. Thursday, summer comes back. Uh, what? <laughs> so we have a, a real temperature roller coaster. Get ready for one day that feels like fall, one day that feels like summer. Friday, the roller coaster goes back down. Right. Uh, upper 60s, and low 70s. This is going to be very confusing the next few days. So tomorrow, autumn. Thursday, summer. Friday, Autumn, uh, where <laughs> temperatures feel like autumn this weekend, and then it's windy and hot Monday and Tuesday back to the 80s. David, that's well.